everybody quick video today so if your students are adding or dropping S's or not using a or an this is just a really quick way that I I guess it could be anything that they're dropping or adding <laughs> this is just a quick way that I give a nonverbal um, reminder because some of my students this is something that they get told over and over and they just haven't practiced it enough or they just forget and so I like to give them another way of correction and it's kind of a self-correcting way which I think makes them feel um, a little bit better especially if they've been corrected over and over and so you could if I use Minicam, but if you don't have Minicam, you could just have a card or your whiteboard or something on a stick. And so if they make the mistake, then I just pop it up at the bottom of the screen as a reminder and point, and then usually they self-correct. So either I can have S or I could have the S and do something like that, or I can have an or a or the, depending on the word that they keep dropping or adding, and then having either this or this. And it just really is an easy way that they can self-correct and we can keep moving. Especially if they're reading or something, I can just pop it up. And sometimes, since it's colored, they just uh, it starts to become this visual, oh, I need to change that. Oh, I need to make that different. I also will circle the S while they read. So if it's supposed to be he sits down and he reads he sit down I'll circle the s and that's also a nonverbal reminder or even just underlining it just with a, a lot of my students who this is a common thing this is a nice change up and so hopefully this helps if you guys have any pointers please put them below thanks